Alright, you asked, so here it is. Shotcut versus VSDC. Welcome to Versus. This is the first versus video in this series and today we're going to be taking a look at Shotcut compared to VSDC. Two well known video editing programs, each having its style of getting the job done. Nonetheless, I'll give my fair share of facts and opinions so you can decide who is the winner for you. So I'm going to set this up by three, maybe more categories which include interface, ease of use, and optimization which I will explain later. Starting off with the interface. Shotcut, as known by many, has a really nice and simple user UI or interface that's pretty straightforward in terms of locating where everything is. Now the best way to put this to test is to simply go around Shotcut and look for a specific function, feature, or effect that you want to use. And if you can successfully find it with relative ease, then it's doing its job right. VSTC on the other hand has a really comprehensive layout which is a little bit more complicated to navigate but it's nothing a little learning can't fix. However, what I do like about its interface is its design. Personally, I feel it's just a little bit more robust, but I do agree that function is more important than lux, especially if you're just starting off with editing. Now, I will say that there's nothing wrong with a little more advanced or complicated user interface. It all depends on what you feel comfortable with as you integrate this with your workflow. The winner in terms of simplicity and functionality goes to Shotcut. Even though VSDC is a strong contender, it can be a little complicated at times, especially if you haven't had the time to learn how it works. Moving on to the ease of use. So this is pretty obvious. Shotcut is by far much more easy to use and this is reflected by the importing of clips, editing, adding effects, among other things. But that is not to say that VSTC has its advantages. Sometimes with simplicity comes with certain limitations that you can experience sometimes with using Shotcut. However, VSTC is more advanced in some areas allowing you to explore more effects and give you much more control over the elements you're editing with. The winner is Shotcut, but look, if you're just starting out, Shotcut is the way to go. But if you have more experience or if you're looking for more control, VSDC is a good option. Finally, we have optimization. Now, I will start by saying that this is a tie. But hear me out, both Shotcut and VSDC have a good team behind their product and they're always finding new ways to respond to their community. In addition to that, I've seen several updates to both editing softwares that improve amongst their other iterations like they should. So there is no question that both of these teams are on top of the optimization game. I really set myself up for this one, didn't I? It's just that Shotcut and VSTC are so different and I can't help but feel like they're directed towards different audiences, even though they're in the same niche of video editing. But yeah, the default winner is Shotcut since it edged out VSTC with those two close wins, but without a doubt, these are two well-made video editing programs. But let me know who is the winner for you down in the comments. Now, if you want a more in-depth review of each of these, head on over to the Reviewing Editor series so you can get a better understanding of what they have to offer. But other than that, if you have any suggestions on what video editing software you want to see next, let me know. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.